What up folks, welcome back to Ultra Zilla Toys and today I have a review of the Marvel Legends Vintage Collection Wolverine. <music> Following up this morning's cap review, here's the uh, other figure from the Vintage Collection that I've decided to do on his own, Wolverine. The, uh, the rest of the figures I will do as a... Uh, as a like little two sets you know little sets a couple of sets <laughs> for the last four figures uh but i'll get to them when i do this is the second time uh i'm reviewing this you know, wolverine mold here on the channel it was one of my early reviews uh but i reviewed that one as a set i reviewed uh wolverine and kitty pride at the time together but here is that Wolverine just to get a quick comparison going how about we just bring them closer so you can see what they did here they made it a lighter shade the brown uh, this way it differentiates itself from the black a little more than uh, this one uh, the yellow is a little different uh, which is good as well this is it has it just you know, gives off a nice, even nicer classic look than this one. And I really like this figure. Um, but I can really tell I, I like this one more. So there you go. There's your comparison with that one. That's really all you need to do with that one. Um, actually, you know what? Here, look. That's different. The arms are different too. So pretty cool. You got some, some hair some hair on this Wolverine very nice let us take a look fully though his head sculpt is really nice I really dig it um, it's just a nice Wolverine head sculpt mask looks great you even got some wrinkling uh, you know on the side of the eyes there really nice stuff and unlike this guy uh, you could see my eyes more this one was done in a silver and this one this eye is like really hard to see they didn't do a proper job on that one so much better here which is good uh, you got a little messy paint there a little extra yellow um, or just it just didn't come through right I think the brown is painted on the yellow but I'm not 100% sure they might just be painted no they're not they're just painted on top um, so that's just a little little extra there but it's a classic Wolverine design. Looks good. It's painted fine. You know, at the edges, it gets a little messed up. But it, this is better than the Wolver, uh, the cap figure we looked at, um, for sure. Again, pointed out the hair. I think that's a nice touch. And you got the hands. This guy only comes with this pair of hands here, so it is what it is. Ooh, and that's not good. They put... <laughs> uh, they put the uh claw here like through his hand and not into the little slot there that's that's a bit unfortunate and it did the same thing here let's take a look at the other figure since i have it here oh they did that here too huh that's just a bit odd no yep weird that's a weird thing that i don't think i even noticed before uh, but yeah, claws have the same, you know, it's the same type of claws, just colored just a little bit differently, as you can see. The newer ones are more silver, which is nice. They have the same problems, you know, a little bit warped in a way. But it does look good overall. You know, it is fine. Uh, the belt I like on this one, nice a nice red with a little gold there on the buckle. The boots, you know, the musculature in, in general is very nice. I like the Wolverine body they use here. Uh, the boots look really cool. I do dig them. They did a good job with these, um, except for some paint issues. But, you know, overall, the design is nice on them. So there you go. Articulation on this guy is really good. Heads on a ball joint and, uh, you know, the hinge ball joint. And on this guy, man, you got it deep, so... You got a lot of great range of motion. Got the awesome butterfly joints, which is great. Then you got the hinge and swivel otherwise. Very nice. You got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, 
hinge swivel at the wrist, click, clack in the abs, a little bit in the waist, but it's good. Legs go out that far, kicks out that far, eh, even a little bit back. Swivel at the thigh, double jointed knee. Swivel at the boot cut, so how about that? Hinge, rocker at the foot. So really good, you know, standard uh, plus standard for Marvel Legends uh, with the uh, butterfly joints. I love when they do that. Uh, it's really good. And the extra head joint for like these types of poses. If you got a Colossus figure that you want him to throw a fastball special, which actually would probably be, you know, something like so. I actually don't have a Colossus figure. So there you go. Who's going to throw him? Who's going to throw him? There we go, Luigi. Thanks, bud. <laughs> so I do like this guy. He's very good. He comes with something that the other figure did not. An unmasked head. Uh, it's okay. The eyes could be better on it, obviously. But, he, you know, if you want him to say he's looking one way. Otherwise, the sculpt is really good. It looks nice. The hair looks fine. It's got a little 5 o'clock shadow there. And then you got <laughs> kind of a messy um, mask that's kind of pulled over that you want to put on here like so. So we pull down the mask. And then you pop in the head. And that's how we would look unmasked. Um, you know, if my eyes turned out a little bit better, actually, it's not so bad, especially if you're looking at it like this. Um, I had originally planned to do it like this, but I think I might do it on the other figure. Um, I would probably not use this because it doesn't look that good anyway. He doesn't have to pull it back. He could take it off completely. I think I've seen Wolverine take it off completely. Um, just because this figure's masthead is better than my first one. So if I'm going to keep the first one, which I am, you know, it's probably best off to just do this. Yeah. Give this a different look. There we go. I'm fine with this. That really works for me. That really does. Okay, let's do some size comparisons, shall we? Here is Master Chief from Mattel. As you can see, Wolverine is, you know, they made him a little smaller, which is good. You got Luigi, who saved the day before. You got Yoshi. We have oh, Storm Collectibles Noob Sabot. We have a uh, Cartini Sora here. River something. Twisted River. Twisted River? Is that, is that what he's called? I can't remember. How about Adamom from Mythic Legions? And who else? Who else? How about Keeley from Blame? Keely. There you go. And that's it, guys. That's my review for Wolverine from this vintage collection. It is good. I think it is uh, better than the original. And, you know, if you have the original and you have the extra head, you know, you could put it on the first one if you'd like. Um, or you could put it on him, depending on how good your head came out. Like I said, my masthead came out better the second time here, so it's gonna stay here, and this really works out with this, so awesome. I get some play value out of these guys. So there you go, uh, a second one of these vintage collection figures in the can. Hope you dug this review. Please let me know your thoughts on it, and let me know your thoughts on if you'd wanna see more vintage collection figures and which ones you would like to see. Uh, remember the the point is like they're giving us like classic really classic looks on these figures so uh, Keep that in mind when you give your opinion. All right, so please like comment subscribe and share let me uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Check me out on 
Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And until next time, peace out, peeps.